Hello YouTube! My name is Nero and welcome back to some more Game Dev Tycoon. You're probably wondering what's happening on your screen right now. Well, one, I was violently shaking it for no reason. Two, we're not where I last left off. There's good reason for that. So I was gone this weekend, right? I went to Cook's Forest, Pennsylvania, as I always do for a family reunion every single year. And before I went there, I tried to record everything ahead of time. I did videos for Nero Cinema. I got my Chem Strike Saturday videos done. And I did the video on Friday. And I had everything ready for the weekend. I also recorded an episode for Friday, an episode for Saturday of Game Dev Tycoon for you guys. And in those episodes, we made our actual MMO, World Nero's Online, which is currently starting to flop, and we need to start working on that soon. And we started making expansions for it, and it was all awesome. But the recording failed! Do you know why that is? Because there's like a bug within the game, which is the first bug I've ever had, where basically I... I couldn't do anything. I was like stuck in a limbo. And so I like exited the game and then reloaded it while still recording and then just continued playing. And apparently that caused everything to be a black screen by doing that. So I uh, hopefully I caught you guys up. We have World of Nero's Online right here, which is awesome. It sold 44.4 million. And by the way, it just continues to sell. It's not as though it, it, it kind of... It, it, it'll definitely trump every other game because it's a game that just continues to sell and continues to make money. Although, if you look at the chart here, uh, the red means expenses and the green is profit. So, we're actually losing a lot of money right now. So, we need to develop an expansion pack for the World of Nero's. Alright, so this expansion pack, I don't know what to call it. We're going to make it a AAA expansion pack. It's going to be the biggest thing ever. It's going to cost $58 million to make. And it's going to be awesome. We're put on the Nero MMO engine, which we also made that. You guys probably missed that too. I'm so pissed, excuse my language, that we ended up losing all that footage. It's all just black screen. You guys couldn't see anything. Sucks. So what do we make the World of Nero's expansion pack? What should it be? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. We're going to call this one Nero Lorn. Because the first, ex well, it's not really an expansion, but it's a new zone in the Elder Scrolls Online. It was called Craglorn. And so I'm going to call it Nero Lorn. Leave comments in the comment section. Different, I mean, if you guys have played World of Warcraft, give me some ideas for different expansions. I know there was Cataclysm. That's all I really know. I never played World of Warcraft. I've played a bit of the Trial, and I just can't get into it. So, let me know about some expansion ideas for World Nero's, because apparently we need to make a bunch of them. Alright, just a bunch of them that I put out there that will continue to make money. And we can now research a marketing campaign and custom hardware in the R&D lab. I don't even know what that means, but that sounds awesome. I'm definitely going to do that. That sounds great. Alright, we're going to get working on Nero Lorne. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. Alright, so I think everything's like already in place as to where we want things to be. So, it's going to be a triple, it doesn't make sense though, we're making a triple A expansion pack on a game that wasn't triple A, like this expansion should be huge, like a whole new area, all different kinds of raids and all kinds of stuff, different kind of weapons, new epics, all kinds of awesomeness, oh, oh boy, and E3 is right here too, that is perfect, that is just perfect timing to give us all that hype, and actually, while we're doing this, I want to do this. I, I, I want. We need to. We need. We need to get cracking right now on NeroCon so we can show off Nero Lorne at NeroCon to give us even more of the hype. Because as you can see, we're actually losing a bunch of money. Right, we're losing money. You know, if you people make money hand over fist. We're losing money hand under fist. I don't even know if that's. A, I just basically reverse the expression, but I don't know if that works that way. But yeah, um, we're losing a lot of money right now, and that's definitely not a good thing. So I would like for this expansion to be super successful. And we hit 3 million people this year. What? Were we always that? I thought we were always close to 2 million. How did we get the 3 million? Or maybe we were close to 3 million? Vote number one booth this year. What? 3 million people showed up. That is insane to me. That is insane to me. All right. Oh, we got here. Not all that good. All right. That's a lot of people. Like, an absurd amount of people. Oh, wow. World of Nero's Online is a getting close to selling its 50 millionth copy. Yeah, buddy. Hey, we got a big spike in sales right there for some reason. Online sales. And, yeah. Make a lot of money from this MMO. Hi, I'm Chris Rigno of eGaming Check. And we just got word Neuropolis is working on a new game. All right. What is your expectation regarding the success of Nero Lorne? Do you think the game will be well received? Hype. We need hype. Hype, 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 
Hype, hype, hype, hype, hype. And we're getting close down here on the R&D lab. We completed the organization of our own convention, so hopefully the convention will happen uh, before the end of Nero Lorne being made. That would be fantastic. We need another good Nero con. That's what we need. We need a good Nero con. The Nero box has actually sold 7.1 million. I'm getting tired of saying the word Nero. <laughs> we got the Nero box and World Nero's Online. We're making Nero Lorne, the expansion for World Nero's Online. Hopefully Nero con goes well. <laughs> Uh, goodness Christ, my goodness Christ. Okay, Irene, I'm going to put you on the graphics over Paul, just because Paul's a little bit over-encumbered. Jonathan Joseph's also over-encumbered, but you know what? If I were to put anyone else there, we, we would all be we would all be over-encumbered. So, Jonathan Joseph, you got some training to do anyway, because you're the new guy. Therefore, you do this stuff. I can't wait for our game convention, man. We're almost up to 500 hype. Almost up to 500 type, and our game convention is going to come here, which might add like another 400 or so. Near long have all the hype. And look at the design and technology and the bugs. 150 bugs. Jeez. That's a whole lot of bugs for something. Is, you, I mean, it's an expansion. I mean, it's not like a full brand new game. I mean, we're using pre pre made assets here, kind of. I mean, we're making new stuff with it, but we know we, we, we have a little structure in which we're making stuff. We have an idea of what we're doing. I don't know why exactly it would have 184 bugs. <laughs> Come on, Nerocon needs to happen before we release this game. Come on, Nerocon. That's a lot of bugs to fix. That's a lot of design points. Holy crap. And that's a lot of technology points. Like, this might be the greatest thing in the history of MMORPGs as we know it. Although I'm sure you guys, some of you guys have played World of Warcraft, you're like, no, this expansion was so much better. <laughs> I don't know, I'm liking what they're doing with the Elder Scrolls Online so far. Apparently new mounts are coming. I was reading a thing on the Elder Scrolls Online's forum, or not forum, but they did like a Q&A thing. And uh, they're talking about like the unlimited sprint sprinting with the horses. And they said, yes, horses can unlimitedly sprint, but that's a feature that's not going to be happening Um with mounts that are going to be coming out in the future. I'm like, wait, what? New mounts that aren't horses? Oh, of course there's a thing towards action games right now. Oh, come on. We're losing our hype. I'll let the hype drop down to 500. I'll let it drop to 500 at the most. I need NeroCon to happen right now. What? NeroCon. Hurry. Hurry, NeroCon. I don't want NeroCon that. NeroCon, we need more hype. All right, well, this is a tried and true strategy within the gaming industry, right? Where they basically promise a game that hyped all up, and then it gets delayed. All right, Nier Lorne's being delayed. Our game complete four weeks! All right, well, our gaming convention's coming. Four weeks doesn't take that long. Hype's going to drop down a little bit, but our gaming convention's going to drop it up to way higher than where it was. Hopefully. Come on, NeroCon, four weeks, NeroCon. I'm just ready to quick finish. Wait, no, I can't click finish. It's gonna, That game convention thing's going to pop up first. Come on, our hype is dwindling. There we go, NeroCon! Oh yeah, NeroWind. NeroWind was the first expansion I made. <laughs> I don't know why I named it that, but now we're doing Nero Lord. Hopefully we get another 3 million people, though. Just boost that hype up like crazy. 3 million 89,876 people showed up this time. And our convention had you know, 3 million 86,000, yeah. Or 9,000, excuse me. Look at that hype! Look at that hype over 800! Look at hype over 800. Look at the new records in the design and the technology. We leveled up our 3D graphics too. And Jonathan Joseph got level up. That's why we put you through all that work. That's why we put you all that work. You get a nice raise at 3D graphics V7, you say? Hmm. Hmm. First reviews of Nero Lorne came in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, these don't look good. Could have been better. What? What? Sixes. This is like the perfect combo for an MMORPG. Well, maybe not MMORPG, but like fantasy and RPG. Everything was like right. Everything was right. But it doesn't matter. We had all the hype. I'm expecting all the sales. What? What? Why with it? Why with all the bills? Where's all the sales? We need all the sales and all the hype. There's the sales. Now the sales are coming. Uh, wow, we're lo we're rapidly losing money on this. We are. All right, you guys take vacations. Vacation for you. Vacation for you. 
Irene, I'm going to be nice and let you go on vacation because I'm really just kind of worried about my business going under right at this point as compared to um, making her do the game report. I'll do the game report. What, what, what was so wrong with what I just did? Why are we losing so much money? <sighs> well, the three million a month, I mean, it's only three million out of like hundreds of millions. So I don't think three million a month is really going to hurt us that much. Seems the market's nor Maybe it's because the market... I wonder if the market change had something to do with uh, Nero Lorn not doing that well. I wonder if that is entirely a possibility. It could entirely be a possibility. I don't know. I just don't know. All right, let's get these guys. I'm so sorry. I keep clicking. I should just be clicking down here. We get. We got. We're paying these guys all kinds of money. We're gonna have them start working on 3D graphics v7. Oh. Yeah, why not? We'll have them working on some. Let's go over here to the hardware lab. And these guys... <sighs> Develop console. What was the other thing I was able to start working on? Now, come over here. Drag. There. Post voice analysis and Nero Lawrence complete. Story and quest are very important. RPG and Nero Box is okay. We have some additional insights. We should try and focus our entire team on development of a game. Okay, I, mean, I don't see how that would hurt us necessarily but all right um didn't we get something new i don't remember what that thing said that's really bothering me i usually have a good memory when it comes to this kind of stuff we got something new that was like researchable wait a minute wait a minute research no not here was great. Was three graphics V seven the only thing I was able to research? I really thought there was something else I should have been researching. Huh? What are you guys doing over here? Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> well, if it's time for a new game, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say. I do not have my list of fan suggestions open actually at the moment, so I guess I'm gonna have to wing this one. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna make a triple A game. We've already done the Hyrene's Folly. And we've done the superhero. Didn't we do one moment? I'm actually gonna open up your fan suggestions real quick. Ah, yes, here are the suggestions. So here, actually, there's a game that I made that was a fan suggestion that I thought was awesome. I want to show it to you guys. It was Assassin's Cinema Nero Hood, which I made in one of the lost episodes. That thing was pretty awesome. It cost 11 million to make, but we made 170 million off it. It was just a really cool game. Uh, I thought that, I thought you saw that was a neat one. I wanted to let you guys know we actually did that game. It turned out pretty well. Just stinks that we couldn't, you know, of course, show you guys that. Here's a new game. It's going to be awesome. We're calling it Just Nero. And you're going to be understanding why that's going to be here in a moment. So this is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, a rhythm dance. A rhythm dance game. And it's going to be the dopeness. So rhythm simulation is what they wrote. And that's what we're going to be doing is rhythm simulation. We're going to be doing it on the Nero box. And only the Nero box because screw those other platforms that are trying to steal away from the Nero box and its money. <laughs> we only developed for the Nero box. We're working on the Nero MMO engine because I, it's the best engine that I have right now. And we're going to start development of that game. We're about to make Just Dance, but the Nero version. It's going to be a rhythm simulation game, even though we're, I don't think anyone's entirely positive. What would you consider Just Dance to be? Would that be a simulation game, an action game? I think gameplay in the simulation is very big. Engine is also pretty big. I'm gonna switch me out for Irene because I'm better at making stuff than Irene. There we are. We're gonna make just Nero. Wow, we have a lot of research points available, as I just realized. <laughs> I should just research everything for the sake of researching everything. <laughs> Excuse me, that was a random cough. All right, we're actually even getting a little bit of hype. I, th I think the hype comes from the fact that we have 2.6 million fans at this point. That might have something to do with it. We're working on a little side game here outside of the world of Nero's. Which is, of course, always nice. It's always nice to have a nice little game outside of your big MMO. Which is what Blizzard does. You know, they have 
World of Warcraft, but they also make other stuff. So, oh, I only know if World of Warcraft is Starcraft bigger than World of Warcraft. I don't know. I don't know numbers. All right, dialogue not important at all. Level design and AI are both pretty big. And job, Joseph, you're taking up the AI on this one, so I hope you're ready. I hope you are ready for the stress that comes with doing all the artificial intelligence in a simulation game. Hi, this is Gary White from Gamers. Got word Neuropolis is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? What is your expectation regarding the success of Just Nero? Yes, it's going to be great. Greatest game ever. I just hype every game. What's the point of not hyping a game? We're like, ah, it's going to be, it's, uh, it's going to suck. Uh, you shouldn't even buy it. It's going to stink. You don't, you don't, don't buy my game. My livelihood is not dependent on it. The fact that we are just hemorrhaging money. Holy sh... We've lost like $200 million this episode. We may or may not need to start pumping out expansions like you've never believed. What? Holy crap, World Nero's Online is killing us right now. You guys need to hurry up making Just Nero. <laughs> Maybe I should shut down the World of Nero's. Maybe I should just shut that down. Man, holy crap. All right, graphics very big and sound very big. World design, boo, boo on your world design. We're gonna put Manuel in there in place of Paul because Paul's about ready to fall apart. There we go. Hey, there's E3, and we're gonna be talking about our new console game, Just Nero, on our on our Nenect, Nenect, Nenect. I'm gonna call it the Nenect instead of the Connect. Get it? Get it? I'm so freaking funny at everything, man. I am hilarious. Not I wonder, almost 100 million people have bought World Nears Online. That is absurd. Or how many of them are just the no lives that keep making new accounts? Regardless, that's a lot of users, and we're disappointing them at this point. They're all just yelling at the forums. We're okay. We have done it. Our research was successful. We should be able to support our contest for ultimate graphics technology in our next game engine. This will be a revolution for the gaming industry. Suck! Oh man, we're losing so much money. Hurry up and make this stupid game! <laughs> like, I'm worried we're gonna go bankrupt before this game's over. <laughs> we're down to 105 billion! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Come on! I can click it and take it off the market right now. But it's almost to 100 million. But we're hemorrhaging so much. So much hemorrhage. How much are we losing? 13 million like every like week. Oh god, I can't. Ah. Uh, I have to I have to take it off the market. We're 48 million. I have to take it off the market before it gets 100,000 or 100 million copies. Off the market. World Nero's Online is off the market. <laughs> World Nero's Online is off the market. It sold 999,094,556 units, generating 1,387,000 or 387,327,000 million, 325,243 in sales. But it also freaking took all of our money with upkeeping. We just got word that Neuropolis is retiring from the MMO game World Nearest Online is off the market. The game has been on the market for 59.7 months. That's 12, 24, 36, 48. So just under five years. And it uh, racked up that 98 million in sales. World Nearest Online was likely not profitable anymore. And the maintenance costs were likely larger than the income. We're going to make a new one. Fans of World Nero's Online have voiced complaints with one fan saying, I love Neuropolis and played World Nero's Online a lot, but now that they took it off the market, I don't know what MMO I should play. If only Neuropolis had released a new MMO, I wouldn't be upset. That's the thing about MMOs, man. Like, you think of, like, World of Warcraft and how much time, sheer time, like, 10 years people have been playing that game. They've been using the same character. And of course, they make new characters up, but they've had that character for 10 years. They've done so many things, and they've... And then they just, like, take it off the market. Like, that would be rough. Rough stuffs. Rough stuffs. Fix that bug right meow. All right. 
Well, we need to start making some money. We're at 19 million! We're about to go under! We can't even afford to make a new MMO. We gotta make a bunch of games, which is perfect, because you guys suggest a lot of games, and we're gonna make that, and we're gonna work towards the Nero Scrolls Online, the actual MMO, and it's going to be great. Or we can make World of Nero's 2. Let me know about that in the comments. Don't know. We got new records, by the way, in design and technology. Pretty freaking dope delicious. And now Paul Reed and Wyatt are gonna be making more money. First reviews of our game came in. The last thing we need are sixes. <laughs> That's the last thing. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I prefer sixes over fives. Thank you, informed gamer. Oh, oh, good guy. Good guy. Game here over here, giving us a seven. And there's old all games giving us a five. That's a loud thunderstorm. I wonder if you guys, anyone can hear the thunder outside. But yeah, that did not. Did not go well at all, did it? And so it's very being well, a young player from Rathless made very bold remarks about their then development game, Just Nero, predicting that it would be uber successful. Now that the game is off the market and the consensus is the player should have been more careful when the final product doesn't match hyped expectations, overall had a negative effect on sales. Whatever, I'm just trying to get out of the dog pit here, or dog pound, or some, something. I'm just trying not to be poor. We only have 24 million. I feel like I'm back in my garage. <laughs> back in the 70s when this playthrough first started. Who remembers? Nostalgia. Yay, nostalgia. We are going to send all these guys on vacation. But there's a time being where I put you all on vacation. There we are. Nice vacation for all. And the market's normalized. I guess I'll generate the game report and figure out why it is just Nero kind of flopped a little bitsies. Little bit is, maybe it's because it's only coming out for the Nero box. We oh, it's sold over a million copies <laughs> in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight weeks. So in two months, we sold a million copies. That's not bad for a just Nero. <laughs> you know, I think that's, I think it's not the worst thing in the world. I think it could definitely go way worse than that. And it's also making us a little bit of money, which of course is always nice. And we should, do, since everyone's already back from vacation, I want you guys to start researching some new topics. What we got down here? Aliens, dope. Research that. Uh, didn't we have an alien game? I'm looking at the list here. It's a UFO racing game, but racing's racing's a topic in itself, not a not a style of game. You have to be like an alien RPG or something. A city building game? Oh, I love SimCity. I've recently had some feels to go and play SimCity again. Don't know why. Music, why not? We're just researching everything they give us at this point because we have more research or research points than we know what to do with. Martial arts. Oh, sorry, Irene. You're already working on something. Let me just get someone else that's not working on something. Time travel, comedy, and cyberpunk. I don't feel like doing any of those topics. Dance! <sighs> So we just made a dancing game when there was an actual dancing topic that we didn't know about. <laughs> oh, if it were a dance simulation game, perhaps I would have sold better. But I don't blame the person that suggested the game because I showed him, of course, the topics we had and he chose from those topics. I didn't know there was a dance topic. I thought rhythm was dance. Yeah, well, I didn't think, what's the difference between rhythm and dance? Guitar Hero would be rhythm, right? Right? Breakthrough! We just had... There's euphoria all around us right now. Rhythm simulation is a great combination, and engine seems to be important in this type of game, and platform match simulation in Eurobox is good. God, we can't afford to make a new console. We can't afford to make um, a new MMO. We're just going to need tons of really big, popular, successful games at this point. Wait, 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 why did we just lose all that money? Wait, wait, why did we just go? We're losing money from monthly expenses, aren't we? We're going to have to get start working on a new game. In the comments of this video, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we need ideas. We need winners. At first, it was like, hey, make stupid games. But now, it's a point where we're about to go under because we have $6 million. And you guys need to suggest, like, the greatest games in the history of games. And we need to do that. Actually... Yeah, yeah, you guys need to do that. Let me know about that. Do that. I will see you guys. And we've had three point. I'm like skipping through this because I like. Oh, I'm just so worried. We're at six million. So um, yeah. Let me know in the comments. We need winners of games that keep Neuropolis alive. You guys are basically the board of directors right now. I am the head of the board. I'm like, hey, 
We need ideas. We need them now. And it's your guys' job to get this going. We need some freaking amazing winners to get Neuropolis back on top. So do that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.